Today, I'm excited to bring you the cue ball tracker. You want to know the cue ball path after contact with your object ball, whether you use follow, stop shot, or draw shot. All right, so there's two different versions, or I should say there's two different options. You could either get this one, they're white, stick, uh, white decals. I know you can't see it in the video, but once I get it on a cue, you'll be able to see it. And then they make them in black also. So depending on the color of your shaft, um, cue ball tracker goes into explanations of what it actually does. So let's go ahead and put one on a cue and you can check it out. All right, so what they're telling you to do is line up to the ghost ball position. So I'm placing my cue. I'm not touching the object ball, but it's right above it. I mean, I can hold it freehand if I want, but for demonstration purposes, I'm laying it on the rail. Now I can see, let me get a little closer. You can see the path position depends on how I hit. So the one that's off forward um, on a 45 to the left and the right, that would be a follow shot. The draw shot would be the 90 degree to the left and the 90 degree to the right. And in between would be the center ball hit. So as you can see, it's telling me basically, if I look at this, I'm going to hit right here on the rail, like I would hit right here on the rail on a follow shot. So here's the setup. All right, we place the tracker over. There you can see the tracker and it's showing me where I'm gonna hit on the rail. All right, so let's go ahead, chalk up. Let's line this up again with the cue ball tracker. So I place it in the ghost ball position, center my cue with the pocket, and it's telling me I'm gonna hit right around there with the chalk. All right, so hopefully you can see the chalk's right here, and I should be within an inch of that spot. That was dead on. So it showed me, it works really well. It lets right, me know. So, line up to the ghost ball position. So remember, my decal that's sitting on here, I'm lining up to the center of the pocket, ghost ball position, and it's telling me that a draw shot is gonna bring me down in this direction. So basically, it depends on how hard I hit that shot, it's very possible to scratch. So now, that was great feedback. It's letting me know I'm going to come down this position and possibly scratch in that corner pocket. So I put a little marker on the table. I want to see how close it's telling me that's the path on a draw shot. Yep, it just clipped the edge of it. So again, I mean, it's telling me within, you know, a half inch to an inch of where that cue ball is going to go. So it did just clip the edge of the scuffer I put on the table. All right. So yeah, definitely. I really like this cue ball tracker. Um, again, you get two of them. You get this nice little booklet. You got to read it though. Don't just throw it on your cue and expect, you know, right away to um, be so accurate. You definitely, you know, have to have an understanding of how this works. So if you're curious to know the cue ball, you know, path, again, you know, I, I've done other um, product reviews on tangent line finders, work great. This overall is going to tell you follow, center shot, below center, you know, draw shot. The difference in the path the cue ball is going to take after contact. I highly recommend it. Cue ball tracker, definitely excellent item. 
it will help you have a much better understanding of the path of the cue ball after contact. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you.